To make my LED mask, I used a particle photon. This board is similar to an Arduino, but packed into a smaller form factor and has Wi-Fi capabilities that allow you to program it wirelessly. Once you have the board in hand, plug in the power cable and set it up using their getting started documentation. To get started coding your particle photon for the LED mask, go to github.com slash anthony ngu slash neopixel mask. From this repository, you're going to want to go to the led-masks.ino file and copy its raw contents. Then you'll go to build.particle.io and sign in so that you can view your account. From there, you should be able to create a new application and name it whatever you want. In this case, I'll use neopixel underscore mask. And then paste the contents of the .ino file that you copied into this uh, file. After that, you're going to want to add the neopixel library into your application. So go to the left and click the libraries tab, then click on neopixel, and from there, click the include in app button. Select your new application that you've named and include it in the app. Now you should be able to just hit verify and make sure that everything compiles. After that, you'll want to open up the devices tab on the bottom left and select your active board. From there, you can click the flash icon on the upper left and you'll be flashing your board with the newly compiled application firmware. Here I'm flashing a new particle board and testing it out with a small LED strand. Here's the wiring diagram for the circuit. I'll put a link to it in the description below. As you can see, once I flash the new firmware on it, I'm able to use the button to toggle between different patterns. For more information on how the specifics of the code work, check out the comments in the code.